Hey, hey everyone, it is Josh from HostGator today. We are gonna show you how to import a MySQL database into an existing database on your cPanel. So let's get started. First thing that we're gonna do is start here in our cPanel and we're gonna scroll down to check one thing first and we're gonna go to the MySQL databases section. So what I wanna do here is make sure that I have a database that's already created inside a cPanel. If I don't have any, I can just type in the name of the database right here, click create, super simple. But I can see down here, if I scroll down to current databases, the ones that are already on my server. So I'm gonna be importing into the new database one, and I'm gonna show you how to do that through phpMyAdmin. I can see here that I've got nothing inside of that database already. It's blank, it's empty, uh, and it's ready for me to import the new data. So what I can do now is click on the databases tab, and this is gonna take us to another section inside a cPanel. What we're looking for here is phpMyAdmin. Now, this is the place where you can manage a lot of different aspects of your database, and it's actually gonna take you to a new browser that you may have not seen before. The first thing that we wanna do is once everything loads, click on the plus sign underneath your cPanel username, and you can see a list of your databases here. If you wanna see the tables that are inside of each database, you can just click the little plus sign next to it, and it'll show you everything that's inside of there. Now, I'm working on the new database here, so if I click the plus, we can see that there's no data inside of that. What I want to do is actually click on that database and it's going to take me to a new page. Now you'll see this no tables found in database and that means it's ready to go, ready for your import. So what I need to have on hand is a file of my database. So either a .sql or a .gz file will do just fine. But this will be given to you from either your past host, your developer, or literally anyone who's working on that database. What I'm going to do is click on the import section here and we don't need to change anything in the other options or partial import section. But the only thing we need to do here is click the choose file next to browse your computer. And this is where we're gonna locate the file uh, that we need to import. I've got mine saved in the databases folder and it's titled new database.sql. I'm just gonna click that and then click open. Once you see that icon right there, we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and we'll click go. Now it'll take a few seconds here, depending on the size. Um, there is a limit of 512 megabytes uh, for an import. If you have a database that's larger than that, you can contact support and they'll get it in for you, no problem. But aside from this, all you need to do is wait until the import is fully complete and I'll show you what it looks like. Awesome, and fast forward just a few moments into the future and we've got a import has successfully been completed message here at the top. It's got all the queries that have been executed and now as you can see on the left-hand side, the dropdown for my new database has all of the old tables uh, that were imported from that file. So congratulations, you've just imported a database into an existing database inside a cPanel and all your content is there and now you can go on about your work. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks y'all.